Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. And we're here to look into a new experiment that I'm about to start today. And I'm going to show you some plants and we're going to talk about these plants and why we're doing the experiment. So this is the first plant I want to introduce you to. So this is a Dyphon back here. It's been in my home for several months and this is the growth that it is showing. As you can see, the plant leaves, the new ones, they're the same size as my hand. So this is the typical growth of a Dyphonbachia. Now, for many years, I became aware that I could not grow the Dyphonbachia in my home. And this is a Dyphonbachia that is showing the effects that I was observing. And it used to be much worse. So the leaves on this type and back here are actually very, very small. And I've actually managed to get them to grow with patterning now by taking all my wireless devices out of service. But when my wireless devices were in service, this plant used to grow like this. So I would get these dark green leaves with very little patterning. And since I've taken my wireless devices out of service, the patterning has now come back and they're actually growing like little miniature Dyphonbachia leaves. So this growth retardation effect is consistent amongst the Dyphonbachia control plants in my home right now. So you're probably wondering how I got this one to grow normally. And uh, you're gonna be surprised why this one is growing normally because to find the answer to that question we need to look down here. So this one actually has a one and a half volt battery connected to it and you can see the negative terminal is connected to the metal pot whereas the positive terminal is connected to the stem of the plant. So this plant has one and a half volts between its roots and upper stem structure. And that's why it's growing normally. So this one doesn't, and that's why it's showing this retarded leaf effect on the new growth. So this plant here, it's actually been in my home since 2011. It was actually a control plant that I was growing next to the kitchen window. And all the time it's been in my home, it's shown the typical growth patterns of the controls. So I'm very, very interested to see uh, if I apply a voltage to the roots and also to the stem using the one and a half volt battery, whether this growth pattern, this very small growth pattern, is going to change into this very large growth pattern. And I have another plant here, it's also a control, but this was on the kitchen table where I was running all of my experiments and it's highly deformed. So this plant got exposed to a wide variety of electromagnetic radiation exposures while I was developing my electromagnetic research for my books. So this is the way it grows when it's grown in very high powered electromagnetic fields that are given off by products, uh, particularly harmful products. And there's a lot of biologically harmful products in the marketplace today that will generate this effect in plants. So again, I've attached a one and a half volt battery to the pot and also to the stem. I wanna see whether I can change this growth using a battery. So this experiment's probably gonna take about six months to a year as you have to wait for the new growth cycle to come through on the plant. And as soon as that occurs, I will do another video. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.